Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on matrices. Topic is quadratic form. Okay, friends, given problem is determine the nature, index, rank, and signature of the quadratic form 6x1 square plus 3x2 square plus 3x3 square minus 4x1 x2 minus 2x2 x3 plus 4x3 x1. Friends, here you observe, they are given a quadratic form. Generally, quadratic form is in the form of x transpose ax. x transpose ax. Here you observe, friends, how many variables are involved in this quadratic form? x1, x2, x3. So, you can consider x transpose is equal to x1, x2, x3. Right. Now, what you need to find? We have to find out the nature, index, rank, Signature. Generally, if they are given a quadratic form, they will ask the same rank, index, signature, nature of quadratic form by converting into canonical form. Canonical form. But here you observe friends, canonical form we have a different methods. One is a diagonalization method. Second one is a orthogonal transformation. Third one is Lagrange's uh, method we have. But here they are not asking convert the quadratic form into canonical form. But directly we have to find nature, index, rank, signature. How we can find out? We have a shortcut method. What is the shortcut method? For the first quadratic form, we have to find out the symmetric matrix A. After getting this matrix, symmetric matrix A, see A is of order what? 2 by 2 or 3 by 3, we have to verify. Here you have a 3 unknowns. So you will get a 3 by 3 matrix. If we are getting 3 by 3 matrix, then we have to find out the eigenvalues. How many eigenvalues you will have? 3 eigenvalues we will get. Why we are getting 3 eigenvalues? Because the symmetric matrix is of order 3. After getting these eigenvalues, we have to find out uh, positives or negatives. Okay, positive and negative. Based on that, we can discuss nature. And the index is nothing but number of positive terms. Rank is nothing but number of non-zero eigenvalues. Signature is nothing but the difference between positive eigenvalues and negative eigenvalues. So, without converting into canonical form also, we can find out nature, index, rank, signature of the quadratic form. Okay. Now, in the step 1, what we have to do friends? We have to write the symmetric matrix. What is the symmetric matrix form? First quadratic form is x transpose ax. So, your x transpose is what you have? x1, x2, x3. Now, I am writing a matrix. How can I write using shortcut method? x1, x2, x3, you write them like this friends. Okay. In the exam, no need to write. Just for our uh, simplification purpose only, I am writing. Here, uh, I am writing x1, x2, x3 for the simplification. Friends, you remember, if I multiplied x1 and x2, what will happen? x1 square. So, here you have x1 square, here you have x2 square, here you have x3 square. Now, I have to write uh, a is the cohesion matrix in the quadratic form and which is symmetric also. So, you write down x1 square quotient. What is x1 square quotient here? 6. Next to diagonal element, what I have? x2 square quotient. What is the x2 square quotient here you have? 3. Write down. Next, x3 square quotient, what I have? 3. Write down. Now, what you, what you have to write? x1 into x2. x1 into x2. Friends, if you are observed, here also you have x2, 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 x1. Since the quadratic form gives a symmetric matrix, so x1 and x2 both are equal. So, in this case, here you have to write uh, the coefficient of x1, x2 here and here also. So, twice you need to write. So, observe what is the x1, x2 coefficient? Minus 4. So, you write in minus 4 divided by 2 is how much? Minus 2. Here and here. Now, you see if we are added then what will happen? Minus 4 only. Similarly, x1, x3 coefficient divided by 2. x1, x3 coefficient you have 4. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Symmetric. So, here also you need to write. Next one x2 x3 quotient. What is x2 x3 quotient here you have? Minus 2. So, write down minus 1 and here also minus 1. If I divide it by minus 2 with 2, what I will get? Minus 1 only. So, this is our symmetric matrix. So, what we did now? From the quadratic form to symmetric matrix. This is the step 1. In the step 2, what we have to do? We have to find out the eigenvalues. Okay. Now, I am writing the symmetric matrix A. So, friends, this is the symmetric matrix we have. Now, from this symmetric matrix, we have to find out the eigenvalues. How you can get eigenvalues? From the characteristic equation of A. What is the characteristic equation you have? Characteristic equation of A is, we have mod of A minus lambda i is equal to 0. 
where i is a identity matrix of order 3 friends now i am writing a and i also here this is a and you have minus lambda times of i i is a identity matrix now determinant is equal to 0 then you will have 6 minus lambda here you observe friends only diagonal elements are 1 remaining all are 0 so directly at the diagonal you have to write minus lambda so this is 6 minus lambda minus 2 2 next minus 2 3 minus lambda minus 1 next 2 minus 1 3 minus lambda this is called a characteristic equation if you simplify it then you will get a polynomial in terms of lambda of degree 3 friends this problem we can simplify by using calculator how you can uh, find out means now i am giving one formula you remember if you know this formula then you can do characteristic equation very easily okay now the uh, formula is characteristic of polynomial uh, equation is in the form of lambda cube minus uh, trace a into lambda square minus trace of adjoint a into lambda minus uh, that a is equal to 0. Okay friends, now we have a, this is a matrix A. Now by using the calculator, what you need to find? Trace A, trace of a joint A and date A. Friends, you remember, trace A is nothing but what? Sum of the diagonals. Tell me, what is the trace A from the matrix A? 6 plus 3 plus 3, nothing but here, 12. Next, what you require to find? Determinant and adjoint of trace. Trace of the adjoint you require you are not required to find a total adjoint matrix. Friends, you remember, now I am doing directly without calculator. After that, uh, we will verify with the calculator it is correct or not. You see, we required uh, uh, for this, here you have a 6. Now, I required the diagonal of adjoint matrix only. So, I am finding the cofactor for the 6. For the 6, what I will get you tell me? 3, 3 are 9. Now, I am writing here, trace of adjoint. Trace of adjoint. Which is equal to, tell me. 3 into 3, 9, 9 minus 1, 8, okay, plus for the 3 cofactors, 6, 3 is 18, 18 minus 4, 14, plus for these 3, I require cofactors, 6, 3 is 18, 18 minus 4, 14, so you tell me friends, 22 plus 30, uh, 14 is how much, 36, so this is the trace of it, and it. next I require to find out the date A, okay, now, I am verifying is this trace of adjoint A is correct or not. Why I did uh, like in this method without using calculator? There is a reason. Friends, suppose if dead A is equal to 0 friends, then you can say A is a similar matrix. Will you get A inverse? What is mean by A inverse? A inverse is uh, adjoint A by dead A. So, in this case, in the calculator, you cannot get adjoint A because A inverse is here, dead A is 0 due to that reason only. Okay, friends. So, whenever dead A is 0, if you have to calculate in this method. Okay, if dead A is not is equal to 0, there is no issue. Okay, now I am verifying. First, I have to go for press mode button. In that, we have to go for matrix mode. Friends, you observe in this uh, mode button, first one is a composite, second one is a complex, third one star stick, fourth one base n, fifth one equation, sixth one matrix. So, press 6 button. Now, you press AC. Now, first what we have to do? Press shift 4. Why shift 4? For the top, what you have friends? Matrix. Friends, you see, if I press AC, here you have a matrix mode. Now, go for shift 4. Now, we have to give mat A. For the first, we have to press dimension. For that one, dimension, what is the name we are giving for the matrix? Mat A. So, press 1. Here, what is the order friends? Tell me. 3 by 3. So, press 1. Now, you give the values. What are the values we have? First, 6, which is equal to. Next, minus 2 is equal to. Next, what I have? 2 equal to. Next, minus 2 equal to. Next, 3 is equal to. Minus 1 is equal to. Next, 2 is equal to. Minus 1 is equal to. 3 is equal to. Once you verify, friends, what you have? 6 minus 2, 2. Minus 2, 3 minus 1. 2 minus 1, 3. Okay. After that, you press AC. Friends, you remember AC is nothing but all clear. But uh, it will be minimized. Already inbuilt uh, in the calculator. I will show you. In the system, what we can say? Minimize. Like that one. Shift 4, you press. Now, verify is it there or not. Press 3 button. Is equal to using. It is up here. Okay, now. Now, you press AC. Now, what are your friends? Determinant of mat A. So, press Shift 4. Determinant is 7th column. Okay. 7th one. Press 7. 
Now data of NAT A. Again, you press shift 4. In this one, what do you require? NAT A. NAT A means press 3. Now close the bracket, which is equal. You see, friends, what is the determinant you have? 32. So you write down data A is equal to 32, which is not is equal to 0. Whenever data A is not equal to 0, in this case, what will happen? You will get a adjoint matrix. Now I am verifying adjoint matrix. Friends, what is the adjoint A formula we have? Adjoint A is equal to A inverse into data A. Already I know data A. So what I have to do? Now if I multiply with NAT A inverse, I will get a adjoint A. Okay friends, now into what I am doing? NAT A inverse. So shift 4, NAT A means 3, inverse button. Inverse button where you are? Here you have, you see, press inverse button. Okay, which is equal to, you will get a adjoint matrix. You verify friends, what is the adjoint matrix? Here you have 8, 4, minus 4, 4, 14, 2, minus 4, 2, 14. Friends, you no need to write this adjoint matrix. What do you require? Tell me. Trace of adjoint. Tell me what you have. Trace means some of the diagonals. What is the first diagonal element? 8. Here 8 is represented. Okay, friends. This shaded region is represented here. 8 plus 14 plus 14. You see? Are you written same thing or not? Yes. Friends, friends like this we can find out the determinant of A and uh, adjoint of A, then you will get a easily characteristic equation. After getting characteristic equation also, we can get a uh, solution by using the calculator. Now, we have to substitute all values in the above equation. Friends, I am rewriting trace A, trace of adjoint A and data A. Now, I am substituting these all values in the above equation. Okay, friends. Then in this case, we will have lambda cube minus, uh, what is the trace A here? 12. So, minus 12 lambda square. Plus, this is plus friends. See, previously I did a mistake. Okay. Now, 36 lambda minus debt. What is the debt here? 32, which is equal to 0. Friends, you observe, this is a polynomial equation in terms of lambda of degree 3. So, you will get how many roots? 3 roots you have to get, friends. Okay. Now, by using the calculator also, we can simplify. Now, I am using the calculator. Now, press mode button. In that, go for a composite. Now, this is a cubic polynomial equation. So, in that mode button, you have to verify where is equations. Equation column is 5th. So, press 5. In this one, which equation? This is a cubic polynomial equation. So, this is the first one. Anx plus Bny is equal to Cn is a linear equation with two unknowns. This is linear equation with three unknowns. This is a quadratic equation. This is a cubic equation in x. So, fourth column is a correct one. So, press 4. Now, what you have to do? You have to enter lambda cube coefficient as 1, which is equal to next lambda square coefficient is minus 12, which is equal to lambda cube coefficient is 36. Next constant you write minus 32, which is equal to. So, if you press is equal to button, you will get a 3 roots. So, friends, first root is 8. Next, second root is you press is equal to button, then you will have a 2. Okay. Next, third root, if you want a press is equal to button. See, friends, what you are getting? Are you getting anything? No. Friends, you remember. Whenever it is uh, not getting, you require three roots that is repeated. If you are, uh, if the root is repeated, uh, then it won't be appear in the calculator. Okay. Now, friends, you may get a doubt, sir. Eight may be repeat. Why you are uh, writing two? You written here two is repeating. If eight is repeated, what will happen? Which is the correct answer? How can you justify? Yes, you can justify. Friends, uh, from the eigenvalue properties, we have a uh, trace a is equal to sum of eigenvalues that is lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3. What is the trace a here you have? 12. Yes or no? This 12 is equal should be 8 plus 2. One eigenvalue is 2, another eigenvalue is 8. Now, remaining eigenvalue either 2 or 8. Which is correct? Tell me. 2 is correct or uh, 8 is correct? When you will get 12? Yes. This should be 2. So, lambda 1 is equal to 8, lambda 2 is equal to 2, lambda 3 is equal to 2. That's it. Is it clear friends? Now friends, we are finding rank, index, signature, nature of the quadratic form by using the eigenvalues. So friends, how you can find out uh, rank means the number of non-zero eigenvalues. How many non-zero eigenvalues are there? Tell me. 3. So rank is equal to 3. Next index, the number of positive eigenvalues. How many positive eigenvalues are there? 3. So index is 3. Next signature. Signature means the number of positive eigenvalues minus uh, number of negative eigenvalues. Nothing but difference between positive and negative. How many positive eigenvalues are there? 3 minus negative eigenvalues are how many? 0. So, this will be 3 minus 0 is 3. Next to nature. Nature is nothing but observe the signs of means uh, positive or negative signs of the eigenvalues. Here you observe friends, all the signs of the eigenvalues are positive. So, you can say this is positive definite. Is it clear friends? 
this is the nature of the quadratic form. Like this, we have to solve the given quadratic form. We have to convert into matrix form. After that, we have to find out the eigenvalues. Based on the eigenvalues, we need to find out rank, index, signature, and nature of the quadratic form. Is it clear, friends? Now, I am giving one task for you. Please try to solve. Friends, here I have given problem. Find rank, index, nature, signature of the quadratic form. 3x square plus 5y square plus 3z square minus 2yz plus 2zx minus 2xy. Okay, friends. You have to get rank is equal to 3. Nature is positive definite and uh, signature is 3. Okay. So, try to solve. If you are getting answer, after getting the solution, please comment in the chat box. Thank you for watching this video.